This is 10 Eyewitness News with Sandra Sully. The ALP revelling in the success of Carmen Lawrence in the Fremantle by-election. High-level talks plan to ease Greek-Macedonian tensions as attacks continue in Melbourne. And the Anglican Church in England racked again after the ordination of women as priests. Good evening. The election of former Western Australian Premier Carmen Lawrence to the seat of Fremantle, while not unexpected, has sparked a whole new round of political slanging. Prime Minister Paul Keating claims Labor's strong win is an endorsement of his government's policies and a bad reflection on the coalition. However, opposition leader John Hewson says the swing to the government was won purely by the personal appeal of Dr Lawrence. On the first anniversary of Labor's historic federal election win, Western Australia's Carmen Lawrence gave Labor reason to celebrate yet again. Okay. The Fremantle doctor delivered Paul Keating a swing of just over 1% in the by-election. a mark from the public uh, for, to the government for having sensible policies and there's a heavy mark against the coalition for a garbage tin campaign. Paul Keating is planning his fourth ministerial reshuffle in three months and says the days of the super ministries are over. But for Carmen Lawrence, her fate is already sealed. But I think Dr Lawrence's standing as a former Premier, a standing in the Labor Party, and might I say a standing with women in this country, demands that she have a policy job. In Sydney, the Liberal Party celebrated the by-election loss with the campaign launch of their own candidate for the seat of McKellar. John Hewson claims Labor should have won Fremantle by 4 or 5% and denies the result puts his leadership under threat. It's got as much to do with my leadership as the outcome in McKellar will have for Keating's leadership. Bromwyn Bishop faces the polls in two weeks and says Labor's strong win in the West is due to personal popularity. Well, I think they showed that uh, Mrs Lawrence was definitely more popular than Mr Dawkins. The government faces another three by-elections by the end of this month. With that in mind, the Prime Minister moved to allay any fears about economic growth and says now is not the time for an increase in interest rates. Stephanie Kennedy, 10 News. In Melbourne, an employee of...